The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out the day uh, with the DAX like we usually do. Uh, as you can see here, we're uh, making some type of a uh, topping pattern here. Whether it's going to be really significant or not, you know, we don't know. But it certainly handled, you know, all this uh, negative news that we had. The Dow was up uh, 400 points at one time ended up being down 48 points based on the fact that uh, it looks like uh, attorney-client privilege is uh, going uh, by the wayside, and uh, so we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. I guess the next thing to go will be the uh, confessional of the um, of the priest uh, with their parishioners. Uh, that'll be the next one to go. So we'll see if if that's the if that's the case. I I have a, a absolutely. Uh, un unusual, uh, funny story. Uh, it, uh, up in Scottsdale, Arizona, there's a Franciscan monastery right near Camelback Mountain. And whenever I would go up to visit Mark and Paula, uh, when they first moved there back in 98, I would like to go there for, oh, about every four or five months I'd go there. They had a two-day retreat where you did fasting and prayer and stuff. And I would go there. And in the morning, early around oh, 06 o'clock, I would go out and walk in the garden because it was really beautiful. And as most of you know know me, I always wear black because I spill everything. So I was in my black outfit with my baseball cap walking around, and this uh, woman comes up to me, and we started chatting, and she said, would you mind hearing my confessional and uh, or my confession? And uh, I I'm not even thinking. I'm just walking along, you know, and uh, I said, sure, not a problem. I thought she was joking. She, she thought I was a priest. And then she started to, to, and I had to stop her right away. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, you don't understand. I said, I'm, I'm not a priest. I said, I'm just a thing. I said, you caught me totally by surprise. She went into the to the office and reported me, and they asked me to leave. And I, I uh, anyway, I never did forget that. <laughs> anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Let's take a look at the FTSE next, because that's even uh, clear, because we have a really nice cell Gartley here uh, in the uh, – in the, it's not, wasn't that funny at the time, let me tell you. Anyway, if you'll notice this uh, FTSE here, we had a beautiful uh, uh, Gartley pattern. That That's a perfect one. And if you look at it really closely, uh, we're right near a butterfly uh, also on this 60-minute chart. But we could easily explode, you know, to the upside. Now, one of the things that did happen yesterday when this thing came out about the um, the attorney and all this stuff, whatever heck, whatever it means, I'm not even sure. But I was, I was watching the market, and those of you that uh, – um, subscribe to the 24-7 service that we have here at TFNN. I, I sent this out. Uh, actually, I sent it out before this. I, this is the, the chart. I sent the video out right after the 61% retrace when it was made because you came straight down and you stopped right spot on. And you notice the high yesterday was an exact 786. I, I'm not making this up. That was the exact price up there at uh, 2653. We came all the way down to uh, uh, 2610 and then since that time we've rallied up and we went back to those same highs again so this is certainly telling us that uh, there's a possibility here that we're either making a major top up here at this 78 percent level or we're getting ready to uh, you know uh, blast off and you know go a little bit higher what I would do today if I were trading is I would really watch the opening price remember we talk about that as amateur hour and uh, believe me you market that goes up 400 points and can down 400 points can go up 400 points and can down 400 points and we know this because we know that the volatility is increasing you know really uh, really quickly and that's the main thing that uh, we'll be watching and we happen to be long volatility and uh, we like to see these types of action that we're seeing, but you know that's neither neither here nor there. We we are not going to have a guest today, but tomorrow we're going to have a uh, 
Uh, yes, it, it just it just did. Yes, that's correct. Um, anyway, if you hold on here one second here, the target actually what we're looking for uh, in uh, the Canadian dollar, Mr. Z, is at 126.10. That's where the 1.618 expansion comes in. Let me get this out here. In fact, I just did this just about 10 minutes ago. Let me get this up here. And we'll, um, if you'll take a look at this, if you'll look at the one point. Uh, 618 expansion down there. That's what I'm looking at. That's where the um, where that 1.618 comes in at uh, 26 uh, at 2610. So it's very very close, and uh, we'll see if that's going to uh, you know be a place where we get a little bit of a rally here, and we'll see if that is going to be something. We've got something really big happening today in the grain markets, boys and girls. Uh, we have a uh, crop report coming out, which will be pretty interesting uh, to watch. I just want to show you uh, how some professional people, one mainly in Chicago and the other one in uh, Minnesota, is going to be handling this. But let me bring this up uh, to show you what the what the pattern is that they're looking at here. Here is the pattern that we talked about yesterday in the November soybeans. That's the new crop soybeans that have not... Uh, uh, someone's asked, you mentioned this, why is the first hour amateur hour? Well, I, I will tell you this, uh, P, and I, this is this is how I view it. And I, I first got in, involved with the opening price back in the 1966 through uh, Jim Sibbett and Earl Hattity. They wrote the original book on, it was a pamphlet actually of about 25 pages of the opening price. And then I met John Hill four years later in 1970. And then in 1980, we did a lot of work through John's son, John Jr., who was at Duke University and had access to the computers. And we got all the data. Data from the work, and we found out that the opening price was by far uh, the most important price of the day. And by the opening, it meant the first, uh, you know, half hour to 45 minutes, and some extend all the way out to one hour. But uh, it, it's a very, very powerful tool. It doesn't work all the time, like nothing else. But uh, it, like everything else, doesn't work all the time. But it, it does work. And why I don't know, but my assumption is from you know many chats that I had with John Hill, is that people think about these. Uh, positions that they have overnight, right? And uh, what they do is they make up their mind in the morning, and they used to, you know, call their brokers, and the brokers would call them. And then that first hour or so is when a lot of people put the, you know, put their money in. And remember, a lot of these folks at these ETFs and other places like this, um, mutual funds, and um, you know, places like that, even hedge funds, they don't have any skin in the game, so they want to get into position. They just do it in that first hour to 45 minutes. So that's my assumption. Whether that's right or not, you know, I'm not sure. But that's that's my opinion of it and uh, but if you if you want to prove it to yourself it's very simple just whatever you're trading is just look at the first uh, uh, the first hour of trade say the first half hour of trading and then look at that and then and watch it during the day and if you're long something and you're above the opening price your odds of you winning are better than seven out of ten for that day now that's just for one day but that's a that's a positive uh, positive expectation see and the second thing is is if you're short and you're below the opening price you have a 7 out of 10 chance that it's going to be positive. It's just the opposite. If you're long and the market's going down, your odds of you winning are less than 30%. So that's basically, uh, you know, what you're looking at. Yes, the gold and silver are rallying. We think we got a chance here. If we can get this puppy above uh, 1350 today, that would be a 1356. That would really be big. We'll take a break here. We'll come back. We got to talk soybeans. We got a crop report coming in today. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan. Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profile So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free.
free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to put the chart up here of the uh, soybeans. This is an hourly chart uh, going back, uh, you know, about 10 days. But what I wanted to uh, bring to your attention is you'll notice that big drop that we had into April 4th. That was the first shot across the bow about the tariffs. That's when the market really broke. We broke from uh, 1060 in beans all the way down to 990. That's a $3,500 move in one day. Uh, you'll notice after that we had a beautiful ABCD pattern uh, just the other day. Uh, let's try yesterday. And you'll see that, that we went right up and made a beautiful ABCD pattern. And now we're going sideways. Well, what's going to happen now is you've got a situation here. Let's say you're long beans and the pattern says that uh, you're expecting a pretty good correction. Now you have your choice of either getting out of the position and you know losing if it keeps going higher or buy it lower if it uh, if it goes uh, you know like what you would like to see. Well, we happen to have some friends here at TFNN that uh, trade professionally, and, and I just wanted to show you what their plan is uh, for this report that's coming in today. And then tomorrow, we'll check it out just like we did with the hogs and just like we did with the feeder cattle and the Canadian, some of the others, see which ones are right and see which ones are wrong. But that's really what we're trying to do. So take a look at this next chart because this really uh, shows you what Cy and uh, Cy Monley and also Rich Anderson are planning uh, for today's report. They're looking for a correction to come down much like we had on April the 6th. You'll notice we had the rally up to the 61% retracement and the beans dropped 18 cents which is the harmonic number in soybeans and what we'd like to see now is to have a negative report coming in again where at a 61% retracement of the low from the 5th and that's where they would be uh, looking to to buy the, uh, the thing. So we got a caller in from uh, San Francisco. Daryl, how are you? Good morning. Sorry to keep bothering you, Larry. You um, are not bothering my, my friend. What can I do for you? So back to this ES for a minute, this S&P. Sure. You've, you've, you've called it like a gem. I can't believe it. It's been, I mean, it's worked perfectly. Well, yeah, the, one time after 12 years, I got it right. No, go ahead, yeah. my friend. <laughs> the, if, if, we break, if we break that 786 retracement around 55, 58, mm -hmm. uh, my question is two things. One is what's your, what, what do you see as sort of the upside? Because that's kind of a big breakout, I think. And then well, if, okay. if we fail, it, you know, if we fail, we 
start selling off, I guess, below 40 or whatever the overnight range is, do you short them there? Well, uh, you know, uh, this is the way I would handle it, and this is why I was talking about early this morning, uh, is that when you get up to that area, you'll notice that there is a really nice congestion pattern that you're seeing here between that 12, uh, 26, uh, 55 to 2640 or so with an upward bias, correct? Now we're mm -hmm. coming in here in the next nine minutes, we're going to open, and this next, uh, this next 45 minutes is going to be very, very important because these people that are watching the, the market move up, they're saying, oh, Oh, wow, the Dow's up 300 points. I don't want to miss any of this, correct? Yep. That, that's what they'll be thinking. And, and like we say, you know, that's amateur hour. So watch that first 45 minutes. If you're not higher after that first 45 minutes, your answer is in because uh, the Got opening it. price will be your friend. You're up against resistance. It'll be a false breakout. Uh, but the fact that we did hit that 78% level absolutely spot on was important. And then last night, which is thin, you know, you have very thin trading uh, overnight because most of the people in Europe trade the DAX or the FTSE. So you have to count it, but it's not as important as it is during the day when you have lots of contracts going through. Do you understand that? Yes, because the liquidity during our hours are, is much, much greater than it is overnight. So my, my assumption is watch the first 45 minutes, and that's what I'll be watching today. And, you know, that's why I send out those videos ahead of time so that yep. you can, uh, you know, get a pretty good idea. Because when I looked at it last night, you know, it was sitting right there at the 61% retracement and stayed there for two hours. I mean, yep. that, that told you somebody wanted to buy something, and, you know, the news was bad, yet look what happened. It turned around and rallied. So the first 45 minutes, well, 40 minutes from right now, so about 10 minutes after 8, uh, if you're higher, you're probably going to keep going higher. But if you're uh, starting to turn around, you're probably going to look at another reversal. There will probably be another uh, announcement coming out of somewhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. Hey, by the way, Daryl, the folks really, they just they just texted me here in the Tiger Den. They really appreciate your, uh, your calling in and asking these questions because a lot of people won't raise their hand and uh, keep calling in because it helps everyone. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. You bet. You, okay. All right. Let's get back to the, uh, to the soybean situation because this is what we're looking at here is a potential for the market to, uh, you know, to break down into this area. Now, I wanted to show you another pattern. Now, this is a daily pattern. The other one was an hourly pattern. And we're going to move it over here uh, to see the, uh, the soybean meal, which is, uh, you know, 80 percent of the soybean itself, the other 20 percent being soybean oil. But you'll notice here, if you look really closely, you'll notice that you see a really nice three drive pattern that stopped right at the 78 percent retracement level. Now, this is really highly suggestive that we're getting ready to see a negative report because this is a Gartley pattern. We had a Gartley pattern to 618 that uh, dropped over $2,500. Now we've got one at the 78% retracement with a three drive pattern. So this is highly suggestive of a, uh, you know, a move uh, to the downside. So we're going to see if it's uh, correct or not. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention that uh, when you see these patterns coming into a uh, crop report, you have to make a decision if, you're, if you have a position that you really feel strongly about. In other words, you really think that you know, there's going to be one or two crop scares uh, in soybeans over the next few months, um, that this is what we're looking at. Remember, we posted the chart on the seasonal uh, uh, on yesterday in, the, in soybeans, and it says they have a strong tendency to top during May, June, or July. And that's, uh, you know, we haven't even started to plant the beans yet. They'll, they'll be planted uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, into uh, late April. So these are the things we're looking at. We, what we'll do tomorrow is we will review what that crop report was and see how it fit with the technicals, because that's what we're, what we're all about here. It, it, at least on my 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 uh, side of the aisle, is to see how the markets react without looking at any fundamentals at all. We we want to see what happens afterwards, but we have to decide ahead of time how we're going to handle this. So, uh, the way to look at it is uh, you want to buy the dip if that's uh, what we're going to get, and if it goes up, it means it's a failed pattern and you're going to go higher. So it's a win-win situation. So we'll see how it works, but that's pretty much what we're trying to do. Remember, we did this with the feeder cattle. We waited and waited and waited and. And it will watch it drop six cents right into the area, which it did. We did the same thing uh, with the live hogs. Just look at live hogs, folks, what they've done here. Uh, just in the lat, let's put this up here. I think, yeah, look what, look what it did yesterday in live hogs. We had a, uh, I believe it was a limit up move. 
in uh, in July hogs uh, yesterday, and uh, we've come all the way. We've we've rallied more than seven cents. Uh, that's three uh, thirty five thirty three hundred dollars in a matter of five trading days in uh, the the uh, live hogs, and that's mainly uh, because of the oversold condition where we made the ABCD pattern. And folks, it's doing it right in the middle of major tariffs. And you know, hogs are one of the big things that uh, we import. Excuse me, export you know, into uh, China. So these markets are telling you that, you know, soybeans, corn, corn's the same way. You know, beans are the same way. Wheat's the same way. Wheat was really strong yesterday. These these commodity markets are saying, yeah, well, maybe they're not going to do tariffs, but the people in China still have to eat, and they're buying. So uh, this is what really it's uh, taking a look uh, what's looking at. Anyway, uh, no, it doesn't make any difference. Be July and August hogs, I think, have pretty much the same open interest as I recall. Uh, I'll double check that, but I, I believe that that's the case. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'll check that open interest at the break. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we've got our question answered about the August hogs or July hogs, and the Mr. Z kindly told us that July was the better uh, to work with. Usually when you're, when you're trading live commodities like uh, hogs, cattle, and feeder, well, feeder cattle, corn, wheat, it's usually the nearby options, but, um, you know, you, you should check the open interest to see which is the highest because you want to try to, to try to trade in the, the – uh, 
the a contract that has the greatest open interest. Uh, usually, there's not much of a problem. And here at TFNN, with uh, with David White and also uh, Andy Heck, they really give you a good idea of what's going on with that probability uh, stuff related to the open interest in these things. I frankly, I do not trade the hogs or the cattle very often, but, uh, uh, you know, I do, do do it all, not often, but I do do it. But when I do, I always check to see, you know, what we're looking at as far as the, uh, uh, you know, where, where, the, where the action really is. Uh, that's it. With foreign exchange, you don't have to worry about that at all because it's all cash and it, you can, well, the futures, <laughs> I guess you should, but the futures, of course, are the uh, at the CME, which are really great to trade. Uh, you have the major months, which are March, June, uh, September, and uh, December. Uh, those four months are the ones that uh, that you'll be trading, and those uh, they roll over as they come. But that that's related to the foreign exchange markets also. So it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see what's going on. We have another. I wanted to show you another market that we're right up here, uh, almost at the 61% retracement that we featured in the newsletter this week, because we are expecting a rally coming in here uh, in the euro and you'll notice that we're right up here at this 123.60 level now that's at the 61 percent retracement it's gone right up into this area that we were sort of expecting this is the the third day uh, of the rally that started you know way back on uh, uh, april the 4th which was related of course to the uh, tariff things and so now we are rallying up in here we now have the lower highs coming in here so watch this euro very very closely because it's going to be real interesting to see what uh, see what's going to happen uh, with it so it's very very important well we started uh, the opening now in the s p so let's just take a quick look here to see what we're doing uh, we've popped up here. Where are we? I don't even see my chart. We're, well, we're trading around 26.48. You know, nothing really big happening here. The old high here was 26.56. If we take that out and close higher in that first 40 minutes, that would be a uh, very, very positive bias. But just looking at this on a 15-minute basis and, you know, like Twentyman says, defy human nature, uh, do yourself. Go back and look at the little ABCD pattern that happens to be there, you know, because you've got a five well, that, that turns out to be about a five hour pattern and that means that you'll make a new high and you're not going to go anywhere so it has a negative bias right now that's actually what's happening even though we're up uh, several hundred points in the dow this is uh, starting to act like there could be uh, some trouble in river city but we'll have to uh, to wait and see uh, we've had several questions about the gold here, folks. As you know, we've been very bullish on gold for a long time. We finally bought it. Uh, that's actually work, working pretty good right now. But uh, and that doesn't mean it's going to continue that. But the key level in the gold that we're watching, of course, is that uh, 13... Uh, 1356 announced because if we can break through that that is going to be a, a very very powerful move and the reason why we say that is because uh, the sell-off in the gold was virtually nothing even though we came down really hard you know in the uh, in the silver and and even more so uh, in the platinum if you remember the platinum we talked about this uh, uh, you know several times and I and I featured it of course uh, in the newsletter because of the fact that it was so very important because the pattern was highly suggestive of the market that really wanted to uh, and I have the chart if I could only find it shut the front door and raise the rent what did I do with it well I'm gonna have to bring it up at the break because it's it's gone bye-bye so I'll have to find out where it is but uh, my goodness, I can't believe that I don't have it in here. Oh well, we'll uh, wow. Well, we'll get it in here for at the break anyway. But that platinum chart was really screaming that some type of a major bottom was. You know, I'm going to do it right now because we've got a minute here uh, to do this. Let's just get this platinum chart up because it was that important. And we got to talk about something else here too because it is breaking possibly breaking out. But let me get the the platinum chart here so you can see uh, you know where we are because we've rallied um, uh, $26 an ounce here in platinum which is uh, you know a pretty good amount but here's the platinum chart that you'll see how perfect it was and you know remember 
Remember, gold is trading up at the, you know, at a really, really high level. Where platinum is way down here at the 912 level the other day. That that was telling you how strong the gold was. And now we're starting to see gold lead the pack again. So that's what we were assuming might happen, and uh, that's what's going on. So we'll we'll see if that's going uh, to be the case. Now, one other one that I since we're talking about uh, foreign exchange and gold and all this other stuff, another one of the foreign exchange. Uh, vehicles that we want to talk about has been this Australian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. And I wanted to bring this pattern up because uh, frustration sometimes is spelled with a capital F. And you'll notice here that uh, we were looking for the market to come down and make a new low uh, down at this uh, 76.30 level. Well, we got down to 76.49 yesterday, and now we're trading uh, well over $1,200 higher. And I am still standing at the bus stop because I didn't get in. I had the order sitting there just a little bit lower. Didn't get filled. Don't like it, but that's where it stands. And so how do I handle it from here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch for the first retracement. And I'll be watching this on a half hour chart, probably, you know, keeping an eye on it through the night, is to see that if it pulls back with a really nice ABCD pattern so that I can get in without risking very, very much. Because this is a really high probability of a market that's making a major move. This is a long-term chart, folks, going back, uh, you know, <laughs> well, almost a year, just about a year. And you can see the two big uh, Gartley patterns that occurred. And the second one completing right now. But look at those little boxes, the insert boxes that I put in here, showing you the similarity of the patterns when it's making those bottoms. And that's that's what we're trying to do is we take one pattern and then move it to another pattern to see if we can get confirmation. And that's what uh, uh, Joe DiNapoli, who one of my students from way back in 1973, uh, talked about as confluence. And I never could understand what that meant, but uh, it means that things coming together, I guess. And that's what we're trying to see here is uh, these things uh, coming together. And that's what it looks like. So we're, we're probably going to, uh, well, we've already missed it. We missed the first, uh, you know, $1,200 on this, but we will try to get in this on a pullback. That's what we'll have to be doing. Now, the move yesterday happened uh, straight up. It hit that number and just exploded to the upside. Folks, there's no, you know, I don't have any way of getting into it other than just buying it and, uh, you know, going into the corner and, you know, putting your head down and, uh, you know, praying. But I, I just have to wait because uh, I try to find a pattern that allows me to quantify what the risk is. And if I didn't get filled there, you know, so be it. So you move on to the next one. Uh, the Canadian dollar is working great. Uh, the euro's worked great. The gold's working great. Treasury bonds are working great. And uh, we'll see. You don't get them all, but like Grandma said, you got to kiss a few frogs before you find a princess. 877-927-6648. Would you like exposure to the foreign currency markets without any downside risk to your principal? Then consider the Petro Currencies Market Safe CD from Everbank. This three year US dollar denominated CD leverages the performance of four equally weighted currencies from these top oil producing countries Brazil, Canada, Mexico, and Russia. This CD features a 200% leverage factor, which means that your potential upside payment will be double the currency's average performance at maturity with no cap if the currencies increase in value over the CD's term. And if the returns are negative, your principal is 100% protected. Returns are based on CD performance with no correlation to the price of oil, and there is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. The April 19th funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a division of TIAA FSB member FDIC. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. 
On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the Dow Jones E-mini yesterday to show you that when it came down last night from up 400 to down 40, that it held right where it had to, right at the 61% retracement. But if you take a look at this compared to the S&P and the NASDAQ, you're going to see a much different picture. You'll notice here that we have a much lower high here. Uh, than we did at the, you know, the S&P went up and matched that high, but we certainly didn't do that uh, in the, uh, the, 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 that's not true, Larry. It did match it. In fact, it went right above it. But again, we're setting right at major resistance here uh, in that, and that is, uh, you know, right at this level between uh, 24,000, uh, where we're at right now, 360, to another 60 points higher at uh, 24,430. So above 24,430, another 80 points higher would say, yes, this could be uh, a possible breakout. But my assumption is, and I'm basing this on the opening price, is to watch to see how the opening price is doing because that'll give you a pretty good idea of um, you know how things are working now let me uh, let me go back here I know uh, some of you folks are uh, texting me about the um, Canadian dollar getting very very close to the, uh, the the pattern that we're looking at but I wanted to show you one folks that uh, was really interesting this morning that is just clean the clock and that doesn't it's not always a good thing but one of the things that I wanted to show you this morning and I'm glad I didn't show it to you earlier because we would have you would have lost some money on this one give me one second here uh, to bring it up to you and show you this is where we were this morning just a little while ago we had an absolutely lovely pattern here uh, in the crude oil we had three major ratios coming together at that 64 60 level we had a 1.27 expansion from the range between the 5th and 6th of April we had a 78 percent retracement from April 1st right spot on and a 61 percent retracement uh, from the high and that came in at that 64 uh, 70 level and now we have uh, went up and gone above that level uh, at 64.80. So this is uh, a strong indication that this pattern, uh, you know, could be could be failing. And that's uh, one of the things we've got as high as a 64.90. That's about uh, C20. So you don't, you don't risk more than about 60 pips uh, in the uh, uh, crude oil. So if we get above that level, 
uh, you're going to be looking at something that would uh, probably go a whole lot higher because 64, uh, 65 was the number. We're at 6480 right now, and that would tell us that we're most probably getting ready, you know, to uh, to move lower. Uh, one of the questions that just came up was about the gold market. All we're seeing right now in gold is just a normal ABCD structure. There's some resistance at the uh, 1345 level, of course, because that's a 1.27 expansion of that previous range. Uh, the key level in the gold does not change. It's 1356. If we get above that, it's green light city, boys and girls, because that market's going to go one heck of a lot higher. We've looked at this uh, from a lot of different angles, and we see a possibility of 1560 uh, on a longer-term basis over the next couple of months in the gold. And believe me, with all the news that comes out from Washington and Beijing and wherever, uh, these markets can easily react uh, if a flight to quality comes in, and uh, we'll see if that is uh, going to come down the road or not. So these are things that you have to keep in mind. The patterns don't work all the time, but when they do work, they work relatively well. What you have to focus on is the when they don't work, and that's the real key you know, to be uh, looking at here is don't worry about the ones that uh, work. Worry about the ones that don't work. You know, take care of your risks. The profit will take care of themselves. That's basically, you know, what you're looking at here when you're watching these. So pay very, very close attention to that. Uh, another question about the Australian dollar. All right, folks, let's just take a quick look here on the Australian dollar. Yeah, we've, we've gone up 100 pips. Uh, we're right at the 1.27 expansion of the high that we made back on April the 5th. So this should be some resistance because, you know, we're still in a bear market. First of all, if you buy here, where do you put your stop? You either put it down at 77.15 or 76.90. I don't like either one of those because there's no pattern there. I mean, there's just some type of a support line. So wait for the pattern. You know, uh, being patient is is a is is a good thing. You know, have, having no position is a position because you have nothing at risk, and you're observing. And remember, uh, the word speculation comes from the Latin word speculare, which means to observe. So let's observe the Australian dollar to see what happens here, and let's observe the crude oil to see if it's going to hold that uh, level, and let's also observe what's going to happen with this uh, grain report that we're going to be getting today that I'll be getting a lot of information on uh, later today, so we'll see uh, what's going on. By the way, I want to thank those of you that uh, sent your little salutations on to Kelly. He gets out of the a nursing home tomorrow, age 94. He's going to be on his own. He's going to have some help coming in uh, a couple days a week to help him, but he's doing really good. His mind is quick as, uh, as ever, and he sends his regards to those of you that have met him. Okay, let's move on to... Uh, Another market that we want to uh, to take a little bit here of watching what's going on here, and that is the uh, dollar index. Uh, you know, we've been watching the euro, uh, you know, do its thing. And remember, the euro has come into some pretty stiff resistance here. And if we look at this euro uh, on the, uh, the the daily chart here, I want to show you what's happened because we were expecting this this rally. If you remember that uh, daily chart that we just posted, I want to show you the shorter term chart that we posted. Uh, the crop report, uh, Marshall, I believe, comes out. Mr. Z, help us on this one. I believe it's uh, uh, 11 o'clock uh, Central Time. Uh, I believe that's it, but I don't know which report it is. So uh, I rely on Cy and uh, uh, Mr. Z and also uh, Rich Anderson to let me know. It's 12 o'clock. And that's basically it. I know you're still seeing the crude because I haven't had a chance to post this chart on the euro. But I wanted to show you this was the four-hour chart. And what we were doing is we, we had a three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, and this is why we were expecting the market to rally because we had that really nice three drive pattern right at the 78% level. And now we were expecting that rally. And that's exactly what we're getting right now. So we want to get ready to take advantage of this because we believe that we've got the possibility here of the euro getting ready to turn down somewhere around the 61% retracement would be my guess. Now, it's I believe we're trading up around the 123.80 level, right? Let me just double check this to see where we are here. I can quickly look at the, uh, the euro and get an idea where we are. We are at, no, we're only at 123.61. We've got a little bit more to go to uh, get to the exact number. Let's just do that together here and see what that number is, and we'll post it into the room here. Oh, we are really close, boys and girls. This is uh, 
This is Mother God and Country. Oh, we are close. We have only got another, uh, wow, another 10 pips, and we'll be spot on. Let me draw the pattern in so you, everybody will get to see it, and then we will move on to the next thing, and there we are. Hold on one second. That's the wrong one, Larry. Just give me a second here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's 12 p.m. Central Time is when that uh, the crop report, the crop production comes out, and uh, that's final crop production, as I recall, because you know they haven't even begun to you know plant beans yet. They're starting to plant corn in areas. The, the weather's not where the ground's not frozen, but the uh, the beans are not till a little bit later. So we'll take a break here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Five reasons traders and investors fail to spot bear markets. It's a set of five very specific patterns that have preceded every bear market during the last 130 years. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability and the number one market timer in the nation as ranked by Timer Digest for the S&P 500 for the last three, six, and 12 months. You see, timing is everything. And on Wednesday, April 11th at 5 p.m., I'm going to share with subscribers exactly how to time the next bear market. Look, the last three bears averaged a decline of 49%, which means you've got to earn 82% just to make your money back. Wouldn't it be easier to avoid the next bear market altogether? Sure, countless experts tell you that markets can't be timed, but what they're really saying is that they can't time the markets. So let me teach you how. Sign up for Mastering Probability by coming to the homepage of TFNN.com to begin your 30-day money-back guarantee trial membership and learn the exact tools that I use to time the markets. And if you can't attend live, don't worry, because the workshop will be archived on your members page for the next 30 days. Don't let that next bear market eat your porridge. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Give back, folks. We're going to take a look at this hourly 30-year uh, Treasury bond. You can see we're up against resistance here at that 61% retracement. But if we get another sell-off in stocks, we could easily... Uh, you know, test that 78% level up about another 20 pips higher. And if it got really bad, you know, you could possibly, you know, go a little bit higher to that 148. But it's just a matter of time before it turns over. What we're looking for 
you know, are places to get short. I believe it's somewhere in this ballpark here. But again, it's going to relate to, you know, what's happening, uh, you know, with the stock market. It was, the bonds were down quite a bit yesterday. And then when the market gave up, you know, it quickly, uh, the, the flight to quality came in. We had a request to take a look here at the, uh, the gold market here. I'll bring this up so you can see this. And uh, you're right, that 2.8% that in that Treasury 10-year uh, note is very, very important. We start seeing 3% 3 uh, 3 in that one, and you're going to be seeing interest rates spike a lot. You'll notice that we're completing this little ABCD pattern up here around 1345 in the gold. Uh, if we can get above that 1350, that's only you know seven bucks from where we are right now, which is no no easy task these days. We've got a pretty good chance. Watch for the retracement, folks. Uh, the retracements that we've been getting in the gold have only been about eight or nine dollars. So eight or nine eight or nine dollar correction is about all you're going to get. And uh, so pay you know pretty close attention to that. Long term, you know uh, this gold has potential for legs, folks. Let me just show you this. One more time, because this weekly chart on gold is just. Uh, you remember now that platinum just made, uh, you know, made a monster uh, correction down there. It, it retraced more. Uh, well, actually it traced exactly 78% of the uh, the April, the March to April move. And look at look at gold. It was going higher. This is very very bullish, folks. Uh, you know, all these things are pointing higher. Anything above this 1363, uh, you're you're going to see uh, a market that really has legs. Now that's my opinion, and remember, it's wrong a lot. 877-927-6648. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. The Taz Profile.